Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mario and I hope all of you are doing well. Uh, so yeah, in this video I would like to talk about bevel sizes. So usually when we use bevels we use them to either sharpen the corner or soften the corner. Uh, but this time around I would like to talk about kind of like the different side of it where we can use bevels to create different dynamics within the design and also sort of like indicate function. So uh, here I have a couple of examples and let's say starting from this one we're going to see that we have sort of like different gap sizes. So this is going to be a larger gap and this is going to be the smaller gap. So the reason for these uh, different gap sizes on a, let's say one piece like this is going to be to indicate the importance of or the function. So the importance of the part or the function of that part. Uh, so in short, the larger gaps or the larger bevel openings are going to indicate that let's say maybe this piece right here has more of a important role within the design than let's say this smaller uh, gap right here. So this is kind of like the core of it all. Same thing is going to be right here. If we see, let's say the bigger gap, this is something that may indicate that this lower part maybe has more emotion or is detachable or something like that, where there the part at the top is going to be kind of like that uh, less important or it's not going to have that of a relevant function within uh, let's say this object. Uh, another thing is uh, the different sizes are going to be sort of like that dynamics within the design because again if you would just go ahead and use the let's say same distances on every single bevel on the one single objects it might not bring us that let's say that much dynamic uh, to its uh, let's say design language but it all depends so it's not always going to be the case because sometimes maybe you do want to tell a story uh, with these kind of like bevels, but in majority of the cases, it's probably going to be um, kind of like this case where you just want to have more dynamics within the design. Uh, one also important note here, a very actually important note to mention is going to be the bevel size or the bevel sharpness on those main main forms. So one thing I see a lot happening and that is this kind of like over sharpening or using the same sharpness all across your model. So typically you want to balance that out and by the rule of thumb, it's going to be kind of like managing your optimal distances. So just understanding from which distance the object is going to be viewed. So if this is going to be the optimal distance, you still need to have some sort of a highlight on that object so that it's also shown in render. So, so that light or that the forms still catch some of those highlights because right here, it's looking like it's razor sharp and it doesn't have sort of like any softening or any bevel at all. So that is going to be kind of like the, the uh, also very important part when you're creating these, these type of objects. All right, so here maybe we can see a practical example a little bit better where all these rules kind of like apply. And if we take example that we talked about here, where the larger gaps indicate, let's say more important function, and then the smaller gaps indicate less important function, uh, here's gonna be exactly the same. So if we take a look at the stop, uh, maybe the stop might have, let's say, more important function in terms that it indicates movement and it in indicates something that can be removed, while, let's say, the smaller gaps indicate it could be just aesthetical or, let's say, it's holding something like a battery or uh, something that does not contribute to the overall function of the object. So I just hope that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, more or less, that would be it. And again, just to do a small summary regarding the bevel sharpness, just make sure not to over sharpen the bevel because, again, we need to catch some of those highlights in the render. And once we're creating, let's say, bevel sizes, that uh, we kind of like put them in sort of like this hierarchical order where like larger gaps indicate like stronger function or more important function within that object. And then the smaller size or smaller gaps indicates sort of like less important function or something that may be kind of like either just aesthetical or does not have that much of an importance or any impact on an overall form. So I just Hope that helps. So yeah, uh, like always, in case uh, you have any questions, feel free to ask anything in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to answer if I can. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'm gonna see you next time.